I guess this will be part two since I hit the shut off button unless I can figure out how to uh, splice these together. But what I ended up doing, I put some Berrymans in here and then I took all the little 10 millimeter bolts that I took off, put them inside of here. Now I'm just shaking it, rocking it back and forth. I'm trying to break up all the sediment that's in there. And when I get that done, I'm going to take the shutoff valve back off because I don't want to run this through that screen. And once I take that off, I can dump all this junk out of here. And I don't know if it'll take once or twice, but basically put some fresh gas or some Berryman's carb clean or something in there that'll kind of loosen up that sediment. And then just shake the heck out of it. Try to break all that stuff up. You can see some of the brown stuff that's on this screen that was cleaned. So there's going to be a lot of junk that comes out of this gas tank. I remembered that automatic transmission fluid is good for getting rid of rust. A lot of guys dump it in cylinders if they're locked up from sitting for a long time. So I'm going to dump a little bit of this in the uh, gas tank. Switch it around some more, see if it breaks up that sediment a little bit more. I've gotten a lot of junk out of it, so we'll see if this cleans up a little bit more. I think I got it cleaned pretty good, so I'm going to take this magnet. It's really good to have one of these. It extends out if you drop a nut or a bolt or something, and you can't reach it. This magnet's pretty handy. So I'm just going to uh, go inside the gas tank here and hope I never even checked those bolts. I hope they're not aluminum. I might have fun getting them out of there. If it's not one thing or another, the end of my magnet, the part that's magnetized, unscrewed and dropped off in the gas tank. So now I gotta figure out how to get it out of there. And it's probably stuck to the gas tank. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well guys, I may have to replace this shutoff valve. It's got so much junk in it, I just can't seem to get it cleaned out. I'm probably going to soak it in something for a while and see if that helps at all, but for now, it'd be nice if it would screw into the bottom of the carburetor bowl. It's a different size. Then I would fill that full of Berryman's and just let it soak, but now I can't even blow air through it, and I've taken a lot of pieces of junk out of here. I'll show you some of it. If I can do it without shutting off my camera, this thing around. All that junk there, that came out of the shut off. And it's still got stuff in it I can't get out. So if I have to, I'm going to have to go to a hardware store or an automotive store. See if I can find a shut off like that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to order one online and put this job on hold for a few days. I can't believe how corroded this is. It's just terrible. Of course, the guy did use regular gas instead of ethanol free gas, which doesn't help. Probably got some moisture in it, it rusted. Because I guess ethanol gas has a tendency to attract moisture. So that rusted the inside of the tank and. Then all that fuel, all that rust went through into the carburetor and created a big mess. I'm going to work on this a little bit more, see if I can get some signs of life out of it. Otherwise, I'll have to do a part three where I get a new shutoff valve and put it back together. Well, I got the shutoff valve cleaned out. I took it out to my little shed where I have an air compressor. And blew some air through it, stuck a small Phillips screwdriver down in both the holes and turned it a little bit, got some more sediment out of it. And now I think some gas will go through it. I hope it's enough, because if it's not, then I'm going to have to replace the shutoff valve, which I don't really want to do, but I will if I have to. Hopefully it'll let enough gas in there to fill up the bowl on the carburetor. So I'm getting ready to put it back together. This time I took the spark plug out so I can get a better shot on that bolt that's back there. 
And I'm just going to put it all back together the way I took it apart. Hope I have no leftover pieces. I still have the magnet tip that goes to my extending magnet, which is this. And it's off. It's in the gas tank. And it won't come out because it's magnetic and it's stuck. And I can't even see it, so I don't know where it's stuck. So I guess it gets left in there. I'll have to replace it. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it loosened up, but it did. It came off right away when I stuck it in there. I never thought to check it. Anyway, I'm going to put this thing back together, put some fresh gas in it, and see if it'll fire up. I'll be back.